候我看到 Lord come， 我頭先喺度喺主中嗰陣時休息嗰陣時，我睇到我哋嘅主嚟。And he put me on a great big bird that looked like an eagle. 然後我感覺即係主耶穌抱咗我哋上上一個好大嘅鷹嘅背脊。And he got on the back. 亦同我一齊喺個鷹嘅背。And he told me to hold on to the bird. 攬實呢只雀。And he put his arms around my waist and held on to me. 然後攬住我嘅腰，然後喺我後邊抱住我。The bird began to soar very high in the sky. 呢只鷹啊，飛得好高好高。And the Lord was saying to me this morning, "There are eagles in our midst that want to fly with the Lord." 主同我讲咧，我哋其中咧好多好高，好多都系喺系好似鹰咁样喺我哋嘅天空不断喺度飘喺度飞。Now Jesus put his arms around my waist because I'm not very comfortable with way high places. 啊！主咧就抱住我腰，因為我個我係位高嘅，我好驚我高嘅地方。But as he put his arms around my waist, he says you can soar anywhere. 不過佢抱擁住我腰嗰陣時咧，佢話你唔使驚，你可以高飛到每一處都可以去。So Lord, we thank you that you're letting eagles soar today in the midst of us. That they would fly with you all their days. 主啊，我哋多谢你，你可以令到我哋可以好似一个鹰咁样，通天高飞，高飞到好唔好远嘅地方。Which leads me to my message today. 我今日嘅信息就系啊，开始咧就系。Heroes. 就系英雄。Jesus is my hero. 耶稣就系我嘅。I'm 66 years old. I've sold everything to come to Hong Kong. I have nothing. But Jesus is my hero. Because Hong Kong is the best place for me to be at 66. Jesus has me in a little place. 香港好细个地方，点解耶稣带我去一个咁细个地方 ？Between two warriors, my warrior pastor husband and my warrior pastor son. 然后喺两个勇士、两个精兵之中，一个就系我、我个、我个啊牧师啊先生同我个牧师仔。We're like this in a little basket. 我哋好似個三個，好似一個籃之中咁樣，三個一齊。The basket goes this way。我個籃去去一邊。The basket goes that way。個籃又去第邊。I'm in the middle。The basket comes in。我就喺中間，然後嗰個籃咧就喺喺我兩邊。Squeezes。我哋我哋好密一齊。But I'm in the best place。當我仍然喺最好嘅地方。Because Jesus is right in the middle。We're going to talk about Ruth today. We will 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 talk about and you need to read the book of Ruth again. 你要咧，如果未好耐未讀過咧，你咧就要真係要再讀一次。There was a famine. 本來有個饑荒。In Emelech and Naomi's land. 然後啊，有有 Emelech 同埋啊 Naomi 個啊家有個饑荒。People were hungry. 好多人都好餓。People are hungry in Hong Kong. 有啲人喺香港都好餓。People are hungry in America. 有啲人喺美國都好餓。People are hungry everywhere in the Philippines. 好多人喺菲律賓都好餓，飢餓。So they left their land. 所以佢哋離開佢哋嘅原本嘅地方。They left God behind. 佢哋啊擺低好多嘢，神都擺低。They went to a Moabite camp. 
佢哋咧就去到一個二邦嘅啊國家。And they thought because they were being blessed, they would be blessed. Amalek's name means God is my king. Naomi means pretty, means beautiful. Naomi 咧就係一種解釋咧，就係希伯來文咧，就係一個好靚、好美麗。It also means God's delight。亦係啊，神啊喜悦嘅歡喜嘅。And they took their sons。然後帶咗兩個仔。And what did they name them？ They named them。One was named Malon。一個係叫 Malon。Sickly。係係好病。One was named Chilean。第二個咧叫 Chilean。Failing, wasting away。係係係係有種死病嘅。What happened when they left their hero？ 然後佢哋離開佢哋嘅英雄地方，佢哋嘅偶像咩事發生 ？Amalek died。啊，佢啊。你你阿咪個 Emily 個老公就啊過世。Malin married a Moabitess and so did Chilean。佢哋兩個從以色列咧就娶咗兩個異邦嘅女人。In their law, it was strictly forbidden to marry these women。喺啊猶太教咧係絕對唔可以啊娶異邦嘅女人。They did it anyway。不過佢哋照做，我也。Malin died。啊，佢啊，佢先生 Melon 啊過身。Chilean died。啊，佢其第二個仔又過身。And there was Naomi。然後剩翻啊啊尼亞米。She was left with her wives. They were family. There was Orpha and there was Ruth。剩翻兩個啊啊仔個啊兩個老婆，一個 Orpha， 一個 Ruth。And in the Jewish law。The family takes care of each other, and if the mother has more sons, 啊喺猶太教咧，就係啊，如果一個寡婦剩翻一個寡婦咧，啲啊孩兒咧應該負責依個寡婦嘅啊生活。The sons marry the widows. 有可能啊，如果到底點咧？如果啊寡婦有有有底啊男丁咧，個男丁要負責娶咗依個寡婦。And this is when Naomi got on her face before God. Ah, Naomi 就喺喺呢度咧，就啊跪下喺我哋嘅主面前。And God gave her a little word. 然后咧，啊神就俾尼亚米一个一个信息。Guess what, Naomi? 佢话啊，尼亚米啊，我有个信息俾你。Bethlehem is prospering. 而家而家咧啊，伯利恒咧而家系好。Lots of food. 好多係好豐盛一個地方。Lots of good health。有好多健康啊，生活唔係喺呢度，喺喺喺個饑荒嘅地方，不唔一樣。I came for my people, but you were in Mo Moab。你離開咗我哋啊，以色列，不過我冇離開你。Well, this is Nancy's version of Ruth, so you know, this is from a woman's perspective. 路德記而家係 Nancy 嘅路德記。Bottom line, Ruth said, "Okay, if God is back in Bethlehem, I need to go there." Hmm. They understood that. Oh, if God is in Bethlehem, we should go back to Bethlehem. When we have a hero, a lot of times we run to them. Sometimes, when we see many heroes, many idols, we run to them. We run to them. We run to them. We run to them. Naomi told her friends when she was going back into Bethlehem, she says, "Don't call me Naomi." Ah, Naomi, ah, ah, 话话翻到去以色列嗰阵时，佢哋话啊 ，Naomi， 你翻到嚟。不过佢同其他人讲，你唔好叫我 Naomi。She says, "Call me Mara." 叫我 Mara。Bitterness. 系苦。Mara 就解苦。But God called her His delight. 不过咧，神咧话佢。And guess what happened? 
what happened was this. No. Orpha and Ruth had a choice to go with Naomi or go back to their home. But Orpha and Ruth and uh, Naomi the Sunpo, could you go okay with a low fan? I could eat gay the car, and can you go uh, uh, Naomi fan fan you say, but you go gay with it. Oh, good. Now, the situation was that she says, hey, I'm going back, I have no money, I have no place, I, I have no sons for you to marry, better you go back to your people. And this was the deal. Orpha said, I'm going back home. I'm not going to stay here. I'm going home to my people. But Ruth said, Where you go, I will go. Your people will be my people, and my God will be your God. When I came to Hong Kong, God had a lot of surprises for me.
pick up baskets of grain and I'm going to work hard. I'm going to do this just in case God doesn't do this. I'm going to work by the guy's side because I can do this. The man will teach me how to lean in a field. I can do anything as long as I have a partner. If I don't have a partner, or a hero, I get hopeless. So guess what? Ruth met a hero. His name was Boaz. We're all looking for that big hunk of man in our life. We want our husbands. We want our boyfriends. We want him to be a hero like Mr. Lloyd. Mr. Lloyd's a hero. He's Ivy's hero. He loved God. He loved God with all his 
heart. He didn't want any hanky panky. If anybody says, play hanky panky with me, ladies or gentlemen, Gentlemen, you're not my hero. You're not the one for me. I love God first. And he will bring my name. Okay, now. All of a sudden, Ruth had a great big basket of grain. She could already get it all. And Naomi says, Wow, where'd you get all this grain? Wow, wow, wow. Yeah. So she goes and she prays to the Lord. And God gives her a plan. She said to Ruth, she said, Ruth, I, I have a little plan for you. I have a little plan for you, Ruth. Naomi. So did Ruth go and put her hands on her hips and she said, I don't need your plan, I'll do it myself. No, she said, okay, okay, mom, okay, tell me what to do. I'll do everything you tell me. You know, Ruth and Naomi, Naomi, now, did she go to seven women in the church and two men and say, give me a word so I know what to do? No, because Ruth heard from her spiritual mother, Naomi. Naomi was a hero. She said, I want you to go over to Boaz's threshing floor where he grains the grain. She says, let him eat. Let him have a drink. And when he lays down, going very quietly, Uncover his foot. And lay down. And she says, he's a godly man. He will do the right thing. Well, Boaz felt something at his feet. And it was kind of scared him. He thought, now what? And he prayed. And he looked down. And he saw Ruth. And he said, oh Ruth, he said, you stay here where you're safe. And in the morning, I will give you gifts for your mother-in-law. And we will get you out of here before anybody knows. Because we want your reputation not to be stained. And I want to do the right thing. So, she got up. He, and she had a shawl. And he filled it full of barley and grain and peat yeah. pock. She tied it up 
She took it to Naomi. And Naomi said, now we have to wait. Sometimes when you go after a hero, like I did after God, my husband, my son, and many of you, your plan seems faulty. I got myself in a mess here. Ruth could have said, I'm laying here on the floor, there's all these men around, I'm under his cover. I'm not sleeping. I'm in a mess here. Doesn't anybody hear me? I'm in a mess. I have no money. I'm in a foreign land. Where are you, God, in this? And he squeezes a little more. To see your heart. So Boaz gets up. He got, gathers ten men in the village. He had told Ruth last night there was another guy that was closer to the family. He says, I'm going to go talk to the gates of the elders. And Ruth and Naomi are like this. Please God. Please. Does God have it all planned out? Yeah, he's a hero. Does... Is Boaz a hero? Yeah, because he didn't do any funny stuff. So he went to the gates of the elders and he says to the relative, he says, There's land here in Bethlehem that belongs to Amalek, and you can collect it. Well, the relative goes like this, more land for me. This is great. And then Boaz says, but you know, there's a little situation here connected with the land. You have to marry a Moabitess woman named Ruth. He came back with no so, so Boaz says, then you don't remind it, don't mind if I redeem it. So Boaz took off his shoe. 
拎起佢個拖鞋。And he handed it to the man, which was the custom. 然後俾咗啊啊 ，Naomi 同 Ruth 至親嘅親戚送咗一其中一個鞋。Okay, now this is what happened. Guess what, ladies? All the ladies stand up and cheer. You're demon possessed. 有可能好多人話人話佢咧就俾鬼附
Someone said to me one time, "Are you a missionary?" You dress like a missionary. You dress poor. <laughs> Bottom line, ladies and gentlemen. God is my hero. God gave three different people visions about me this week. One vision was when I was in a meeting this week on Friday. Jesus came to me. And he said, you will always have a house loaded with everything. Plenty of food. Plenty of clothes. Lots of cosmetics and hair products. Everything I desire in my heart. Those are shallow things. But I'm a girly girl. And I like nail polish. And I like makeup. <laughs> and God said it was okay. Now, the second one, well, the first one, I have to get stop being silly and get more relevant. God said, Jesus said, you're my girl. He's my hero. He healed me. He's loved me. He said, I'll never leave you and I'll never forsake you. And he never has. I'm not brave. I'm kind of chicken. God knows. I need his encouragement. Day two, I went to pray. On Prayer Mountain. With Ivy, it was special. With some people she knows. There was a pastor there, Pastor Choi. He's been ministering in Hong Kong for 77 years. Old man. Straw hat. But he's a mover and shaker mm. for God. God told me to get down on my knee like this and honor Pastor Choi for the years that he has worked for God. There was another man here. This man is a minister in mainland China. God is my hero as I was riding to the mountain. The Lord said, Come and go with me unto the mountain of the Lord. And Pastor Choi said, God will honor your life because you reverence him and people who come before you. I taught about the light when I was teaching. Arising and shining like Ruth did, like Boaz did, like Obed did. Like Nancy Green is trying. And the pastor from China taught on the light of the Lord. And he told us we have the light. We're the lights. We're the heroes. As I left there, I was very humbled because those people walk with God. But in a group, when you know everybody, you don't pay attention to what God wants you to do sometimes. There was, there was a man there who was, I think, a mongoloid, but I'm not quite sure. 
some disability. And God kept lighting him up to me. He kept lighting him up. He kept lighting him up. He kept lighting him up. There was light right over the top of his head all the time. And we started to worship. We started to praise. And people started picking up instruments. God said he wants to play. But he doesn't know how to tell anyone. He wants to, to be a part, but he doesn't know how to tell anyone. So we took him an instrument. So a wooden instrument. Bang, bang. And he started playing. We showed him how to lift his hands. And he started lifting his hands. And Faustor said, he's your little brother. He was so happy. When we went to shake everybody's hand, we shook their hands. We went around and shook their hands. When we were shaking their hands, little brother came to shake their hands too. He was a hero to God. He can't do much, but he can play that instrument. He can clap his hands. He can have joy on his face. He can lift his arms. This morning when we were dancing, some of you thought, why are we doing this? This is church. We don't do this in church. She's making us put our hands up. She's making us turn around. Because that's a way we can reverence our hero. We can love our Jesus. And he can love on us. He can love on us. Philip is my hero. He teaches in the street. He interprets. He loves my husband. And my husband gives him a hard time. <laughs> but Philip still loves him. Mr. Loy and, and Mrs. Loy are my heroes. They love each other. They love their sons. And they do what they need to do to love Jesus. Ying is my hero. <laughs> Anybody who can teach math and minister in song and music in the street to Jesus is my hero. Every morning, she comes early. Maggie, sometimes an hour or two. She wants extra time with God. Because he's her hero. Many of you I don't know, but I know you. He came to the street. When I prayed, God said he was a volcano. He's going to harvest a lot of people. Euphemia is my hero. Euphemia comes to meetings. 
She never asked for anything. She just loves everybody. And she supports Philip's ministry. Because she knows Philip's a man of God. Yoli is my hero. She's been here a long time working with the Filipinos, doing things for God, moving according to what God would have her to do. It's not always what she'd like to do. She argues with God. God. And God says, Yoli, it's this way. And then guess what Yoli does? Yes, sir. Because <laughs> Jesus is her hero. What I'm saying is, you are all God's heroes today. There's one prerequisite. These three ladies are my heroes. They put up with me today. They will dance with me. They hug me. And they didn't go, crazy lady from a man. <laughs> now, this is what I would like you to do. And I don't know you, but thanks for playing. You came and let me have you as Boaz in our little illustration today. And I knew he was a man like Boaz. Every day, Richard is my hero. He is Scotch. He is Irish. He makes a decision and he won't move this way or that way. Back up a little. I pray. Because I'm all the way over here. And he's all the way over here. And I tell God, come in the middle of it all. He has to. Because marriage is not perfect and it's not easy. You have to work at it. You can't pretend it's right. You just have to trust God that it will be right. Ken is my hero. He is my oldest son. <laughs> my only son. And when I was in America, I missed him so much. But he's not a baby anymore. He's a man. <laughs> I am the Jewish mother. I'm going to help him. And he says, Mom, step back. Or he'll say, Come on, Mom, we can do this. He's my hero. He plays in the street. He sings his heart out for the presence of God. He paints to bring people into the kingdom. He speaks life in his schoolroom when he teaches children every day. He never stops. He never rests. He works seven days a week. Oftentimes seven days a week and seven days at night. And he just keeps on rolling ticking like the time X. It's hard for Ken. People will say to him, So what denomination are you with? What organization backs you? So what do you do with your offering? Are you a con man? 
This is six years, going on seven, that Ken's been in Hong Kong, mm -hmm. alone, mm -hmm. in a desert, no support, mm -hmm. only people like the Louis who saw him on the street who became his friend, and others like Yoli and the girls that became his friend, you got past the camp. and Philip. You got past the camp. Mm -hmm. We are in place. 
places of challenge in this room today? Where do we need to go? Even when our heart is hurting. Oh Jesus, I didn't have enough time to study the word, so I might not do it right. Jesus said, I have a divine plan for today. I want you to stand up. The divine plan is this. I want you to look in the eyes of the Holy Spirit today at your life and allow Jesus to show you that you're a hero. I'm going to have um, Pastor Philip and Pastor Richard, Pastor Bernard, um, pray for you. Holy Spirit's going to light you up if you need prayer. The men are going to listen to Holy Spirit and they're going to pray. Because maybe your vision is a little bit distorted and you don't see your life as a hero. I've never been good enough to be a hero. I made very bad choices. But Jesus said, Nancy, you're my hero. Come out and dance with me. Jesus is no respecter of persons. Let him show you.